Hi, everyone. Welcome to a seasonal CSI tasting room. Uh, we have a few different products today, so actually a very unique assortment of some kind of innovative products using unique ingredients for this time of year, which is fall. I have four people with me today in the CSI tasting room and one that you haven't seen in just a few videos that we absolutely had to have on because of his very colorful vocabulary, which I find myself having to research just about every word. So I will start out with him. We have Anthony Evans. Hey, hey. We have Chaz Jones. What's going on, guys? And we have Spencer Lynn. What's up, everybody? So today we are going to start out with one of three products. The three products that we have today are the, sorry, protein cookie butter powder. And this is specifically the pumpkin pie seasonal flavor. Then we have the RX Bars pecan flavor. And then we have the new Built Bar in the pumpkin chocolate chip cookie flavor. So I think guys, let's go ahead and start out with the first one. We are gonna be doing the protein cookie butter powder and we each have it set up differently. Spencer made his into an actual like peanut butter paste. Uh, Chaz mixed his in, was it water Chaz? Mm -hmm. And then Anthony, what did you mix yours with? Almond milk. Almond milk, okay. And then I'm gonna be doing just the raw powder on this. So if you don't mind Chaz, I will have you go first. Give us a drink, tell us what you think. Absolutely. So first off, the one thing I always like to make note of, and, and we always have a tendency to do this, before we drink something, we always smell it. And it's it's a very pleasant smell. Like you smell all the, the spices that they added in there, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the clove. Big time. So it smells great. And I should actually start by saying, I am not a pumpkin flavor normally guy. Like I don't really choose to eat pumpkin pie. I don't do pumpkin spice. I've actually say, I'm thoroughly impressed with something like this because the, the texture I did a little bit thicker of a consistency. So I did a couple servings in with some water, six ounces of water and some ice. But um, no, the flavor is on point. Like there's not too much spice. There's not too much pumpkin. Perfect blend. So tastes extremely good. Nice. Anthony, what are you thinking? All right. Well, I listen, I'll, I'll be, I'll be straight up. I, I, I can't stand pumpkin spice. I think, you know, it's too ubiquitous in the fall season. They have pumpkin spice, everything, things that shouldn't be pumpkin spice or pumpkin spice. They've got pumpkin spice colored things now. I don't even know how you do that. Um, but contrary, on the opposite end of that, I love pumpkin pie. So I'm, I'm hoping, hoping it's given. Less novelty, more flavor. reality. Exactly. Yeah. Give me like a Patty LaBelle pumpkin pie flavored something, we're good. He, 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 oh, he just it. downs it yeah, all. He right. did. All right. <laughs> Straight for it. It's thick, but delicious. Okay. Okay. It is thick and it's, you know what? That's, I would say, sprinkle some cinnamon on there. And I would have this at the dinner table during Thanksgiving. My mom would kill me, but <laughs> um, I, I would tell that's delicious. Dang. Food, not too, not too um, nutmeggy, not too clovey. It's, it's really good. Absolutely. Really good. I think I, I do agree with you though. I, I just had the raw powder form and I think having just a little bit of a, kind of like a, just a sprinkle of cinnamon would mm -hmm. kind of just, just add a little bit more dimension there. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm glad that you came on and said that because Nancy, that's kind of why we were looking towards you um, is because of, you know, your, I, I guess you could say the discrepancies we have towards pumpkin flavor. So that's a very solid <laughs> review. Yes, the you know. two different, pumpkin, pumpkin pie and pumpkin spice, two different things. Two okay. Very, very different things. <laughs> And I would say, uh, before we have Spencer finish, I just had the raw powder. Um, I've had uh, many types of these, you know, newer versions of like, they're in between protein powders. They're kind of like flavor modifiers. I've had many of these before, and usually they are chalky or hyper fatty or so dry that if you have them raw, um, it's, it's almost like you, you can't even get it down without a liquid. I had a pretty decent size on the top of my spoon there, and it was none of those things. It was very smooth. Um, not not dry or chalky at all, but just really kind of satiating. Um, so as far as just the raw powder is concerned, if you were sprinkling on something, that is good. Spencer, what do you think? All right, so I mixed mine up kind of like a, a peanut butter, if you guys can see on the camera. I just, I did um, six tablespoons and then just drizzled a little bit of water and mixed it up. Came out like the nice creamy peanut butter consistency. 
and I just had a scoop of it a little bit ago. It tastes, it tastes really good. Um, I, I get, I'm not a big pumpkin guy either, but um, I get like a pumpkin hint like on the back end of the taste. Like it, it takes a couple seconds and then you taste that pumpkin as you're swallowing it basically. Uh, it's a very good flavor. It would be good if you mixed a couple tablespoons in with some like oatmeal, like warmed up some oatmeal and put a couple tablespoons in there. That would be very good. Um, I don't think anybody really touched on it yet, but the macros on this are phenomenal. Uh, two tablespoons is only 60 calories. You get 10 grams of protein out of that. Um, very versatile. You can do a ton of things with it. That's that's a big bonus for me. And then this is you know a cool way to eat it too. Like I'm a big fan of this. You know, before I go to bed, take a spoon full of peanut butter and just you know make my snack. But it's a pretty cool way, way to uh, utilize the product as well. Very important, Spencer. Yeah, I'm really glad that you did touch on the macros. Spencer is one of the few persons here. I actually haven't asked Anthony, but that uh, checks on macros. Chaz and I make uh, what we call fat kid jokes. And we're like, <laughs> who counts macros anymore? Uh, but athletic people who are actually in shape, like Spencer, just kidding, Chaz and myself, uh, they do, you know, pay attention to these types of things. And these macros are truly phenomenal um, to accomplish this type of flavor profile. So really good review on that one, Spencer, as far as having it as a pace, clearly it looks like mm -hmm. it's horrible. You're, you don't want to finish it. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's really having good. it a spoonful. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> That's awesome. Cool. Well, I'm glad we like that with the, uh, you know, protein cookie butter powder. Chaz, like it, love it. Final thoughts on this one? Impressed. I definitely like it a lot. I mean, like I said, I think it's a very unique concept because I think you can use it as addition into things. You can use it as a shake, like you're saying, as a peanut butter, you know, like you even ate the raw powder, which is, that's bold. You got to admit that's really bold because, you know, eating some raw powder typically is going to be a pleasant thing. So I think, um, I think the functionality of this is a lot broader than what most people might think, and it's well worth looking into. Awesome. Anthony? I'm there for it. I'm, okay. I'm there for it. I like the diversity. I, you know, it, it's, it's, no matter how you drink it, that's never its final form. And you can just keep trying it, trying it different ways. You get bored with it, now I'll have it dry. You get bored with it, now I'll have it as a powder or, or as a paste. Now I'm bored of it, let's have it as a shake. I love it. Wow, I, I can only second the versatility there. I mean, I can't even, I wouldn't even thought about that until you brought that up. So I'm for it, especially at the price range, especially at the macros, seasonal flavor. Fall is here, love it. Spencer, your final thoughts, paste, yeah. whatever. Yeah, I like it a lot too. I'm actually, I pulled up their web website real quick and they have probably about a dozen flavors that are all really unique. They got a frosted cinnamon roll, red velvet, fruity cereal, apple pie. So not just the seasonal flavors, they have a lot of options. I would be in for red velvet any day. I'd like to try the apple pie. Yeah. Apple pie. Cool. <laughs> All right, everyone, let's move into the RX Bar limited edition pecan. Um, RX Bar in the past has done a really uh, vibrant job at kind of like taking advantage of holiday editions. They are good with retail. So I believe they like to provide proper retail support uh, for people. And with that comes really cool limited edition flavors. And this year we caught the pecan, which I believe is already done. I think they sold out of these. Um, they may still be in retailers. It could possibly be online, but when we looked to reorder, they were out of stock. So we're gonna bust open these pecans here today. Spencer, do you wanna hit us with the ingredient profile on this guy? Yeah, sure. Uh, these RX bars, they're, they're pretty well known for a very minimal ingredient profile. Literally dates, egg whites, cashews, pecans, I, I don't say pecans, natural flavors, cinnamon, and sea salt. Those are the only ingredients in here. So they always keep their bars very, very minimal ingredients, which is pretty cool to make it taste as good as they usually do. Totally. Low calorie, good amount of protein, not a ton of fat, definitely not a lot of carbohydrates or, well, I mean, natural carbohydrates. There are sugars in this one. I think naturally because of some of the pecan yield, we have dates 18 well. total and dates, of course. Um, so I think I, I do love the minimal approach. I will usually sacrifice carbs for authentic ingredients personally. I'm gonna try this guy. I have to ASMR my, my wrapper open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, good. That doesn't normally smell like a regular RX bar. Very chewy. Mm -hmm. Chewy is one of my favorite textures. Mm -hmm. But smooth. Real smooth. Mm -hmm. Extremely smooth. Big chunks of pecans in the bar, too, which is cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. pecans, pecans, pecans. 
huge, just a huge chunk right there you can go see. Look at that guy, jeez. Well, it's kind of crazy, and I don't know if you guys have the same effect as well. Kind of like up front, it's very mild. You know, there's not mm -hmm. robust flavor. But as you get through the bar and your last flavor, your last flavor has the most flavor to it whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But when you say it has like a, um, it has like a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a neutral flavor palette on the front end. It's not like, because some of these bars have a neutral taste palette, but they taste like cardboard. Like yeah. not neutral in a good way. Neutral in like, like is any of this actually grown somewhere or did you just scrape this from the bottom of something <laughs> and congeal it into a bar? Whereas this actually, it's it's neutral, it's um, palatable, it's it's it's. I think it's delicious to be honest. And then you know, if you're out yeah. doing things, you're not having to rinse your mouth out to get rid of you know. Oh, I just had a protein bar. Let me rinse my mouth out and brush my teeth before I have anything new. You know. For sure. I think I've had pretty much every RX bar flavor. My original favorite is their um, chocolate mint. Um, back when I had a retail location, they were really good to us. And so we would get to try all these really cool, unique flavors. I will say the pecan, though I'm not usually a pecan person, this has nothing to do with the holiday season. For me, I think this is the best one I've ever tried. I specifically like the chocolate mint one because it would always hold a more consistent moisture. Um, I know for a fact we've had these at the warehouse for at least three weeks and getting to try them now and they're still very moist. Mm -hmm. um, very impressed with that. So good job, RX Bar. This is incredible. Yeah. Spencer, what are your thoughts? I, I agree. I think I've also had every RX Bar flavor that's ever come out. Uh, my favorite, my previous favorite, well, still my favorite, is the, the maple sea salt one. I really love that one. But yeah, I pick up RX Bars all the time, and I agree. This is definitely really moist, um, very chewy. I like it as well, like Anthony does. Yeah, this is a good flavor. Pecan, definitely a pecan, whatever. Pecan. Definitely up there. Definitely up there towards the top of their flavors for me too. That's awesome. Always nice that you can pick these up at uh, Costco Everywhere. too when they run yeah. that crazy sale on them. It's like, can't can't even beat that. Mm -hmm. um, I know your guys' palates may be a little bit taxed, but are you guys <laughs> ready to move on to the Built Bar? Yes, sir. Okay, let's do it. All right, guys, so Built Bar, um, Chaz actually was the first one to kind of bring this up, and I think he has a lot more experience with Built Bar than I myself do. Um, but Built Bar, a little bit more sports nutrition oriented. Chaz, do you want to kind of give the audience your overall thoughts on Built Bar's prior, new, now, whatever? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I was introduced to the Built Bar somewhat recently, actually, maybe a couple weeks ago, and uh, my wife manages the health food store and, you know, went in and saw them on her shelf, so I absolutely heard about them, so I had to pick them up. Uh, as soon as I uh, touched them, I knew it was going to be a completely different bar because it's very, very soft texture. And it's kind of like Anthony was saying, I like that softer texture a little bit more. And, uh, you know, I have to laugh about it because I take a bite of it, you know, open up in our store after I bought it, take a bite of it. And I'm like, this is incredible because I had the coconut one reminded me just like a Mounds bar. Oh. And, and luckily, although my wife loved the flavor, she wasn't a fan of the texture because so she, she didn't like the chewiness. But I always say, hey, that's more of a benefit to me. I just get all the Bill Bars then. <laughs> <laughs> all the Bill Bars for Chaz. I'm with you. Um, real quick kind of macro uh, profile breakdown on this one. 17 grams of total protein in here, 18 grams of carbohydrates, only four of added sugar. They do kind of ride off of sugar alcohols on this. Anthony, I'll be interested to see what you think because you are so versed in your sugars and sweeteners. Um, six grams of overall dietary fibers. That's really cool. A, a, a very decent breakdown from an 18 gram yield in order to accomplish this type of chocolate liqueur hard shell texture with the inside. So let's bite into this sucker, guys. Tell me what you think. That's killer, man. <laughs> okay, one. I think Anthony's on a roller coaster ride right now. <laughs> roller coaster ride of emotions. Okay, one. If this were a blind taste test, you'd be hard pressed to tell me this is a protein bar. Yeah. Right. You'd be hard pressed. Like, I would look you dead in the face and say you're lying to me. <laughs> because this tastes like, um, if you ever go to like a chocolate, like an actual chocolate store, they've got these like little dark chocolate. Um, patties that have like almost like a caramel um caramel but marshmallowy texture filling in them yeah you know M almost like a moon pie yes and that's the like this is not this this is not 
a protein bar. I feel like I'm being lied to. Yeah, really true. Yeah, like, Chaz, you were 100% right. The texture of these is unlike anything I've ever had in a bar before. Um, this is the first built bar I've ever had. I've definitely seen them on Instagram. I've seen them in stores before, but I've never, never had one. Yeah, this texture is crazy. In a good way. Now, I'm curious to see what the chocolate flavor tastes like. Because this is pumpkin chocolate chip. The pumpkin is actual pumpkin. It's not pumpkin spice. But it's pumpkin. It's chocolatey. I, I, I'm, I'm actually wanting to buy a just chocolate chip version of this bar. Because this is... Um, this is like... Yeah. It's so different. Yeah, really is. Hard to innovate in the bar category. We've done a lot of bars, you know, in the past couple of months in the CSI tasting room. This is this is very unique. This is unique in terms mm -hmm. of of texture, in terms of flavor profile, how it kind of comes on, how it addresses your palate. Um, definitely, I've said this a lot lately. I know I said this earlier one in the CSI tasting rooms about my pre workout. I know I just said this about RX bar, but as far as texture, my favorite texture for a bar to date by far. Mm -hmm. Cause you do yeah. get you do get a very dry, um, almost animal feed type texture in a lot of protein bars. Where it's like I could build a house out of this thing, and if you're out and about doing things, okay, great. I have to have a drink while I have a protein bar while I'm driving to the gym because you know it's dry. I need moisture, and I you know what I mean it's just. But this, I will say this though, I'm not a fan of dark chocolate, and this does have more of a dark flavored, dark chocolate flavor to it. Mm -hmm. But it's delicious. I, I really, I'm curious to see what the milk chocolate tastes like. Like the just, just a straight up milk chocolate bar. This is good. Thank you, Chad. Yeah. For, <laughs> for inviting this into my life. Spencer, you got any final thoughts on that? Yeah, one? I'm gonna have to for sure like try every one of their flavors now. <laughs> uh, put them on my list. And try literally every one of their flavors because um, the texture is crazy, crazy good. That's awesome. Chaz, what about you, buddy? I know I know you just took a bite, so forgive me, but I love no, that you brought up, you know, your wife and health foods and so. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's nice because like my thing is I definitely am that what that person that has a sweet tooth. We all we, I talk about this every single you know, tasting rooms. And what I can say with the built bar is that it truly is one of those bars that is a one hundred percent treat. As Anthony said, if you were blindfolded, it'd be a hard time to guess that this was a protein bar. Just because, again, I've never had a texture like this, which is why I think I like it, because it's very different. But um, no, I, I've got to say, easily on my, my top five bars I've ever had, without a doubt. And I would say that, that this flavor is good, even though I said I'm not a big pumpkin fan. If you guys are a coconut fan, I'm telling you, that one coconut tastes like a straight up mound bar. It's incredible. Oh, definitely one of my favorite bars. Um, all right, guys, final recap. We already know where we're at with the protein cookie butter powder. As far as RX bar, would you guys buy it again with the pecan limited edition flavor? Chaz? 100%. 100%. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, for sure. For cool. sure, yeah. So we all love it. With the built bar, buy it again? Without a yeah. doubt. You'd be a fool not to. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to go out of my way to make sure I try all their flavors now. So. <laughs> But hey, we can always do another CSI tasting room and hit these other additional flavors. But uh, and you guys are watching and uh, have made it to this bar. There, you know, time is running out on these flavors. So if you can still pick up the RX bar flavor in pecan, do it. If you can, if Bill Bar is not sold out of these either, do it. Do it now and maybe grab a few just for the future. Because although I cannot say I'm also the biggest pumpkin fan. Um, that flavor itself for this bar is actually incredible. So whether you're a pumpkin fan or not, it's absolutely worth a try in my opinion. So, man, we have some winners on this CSI tasting room. You guys, thank you so much for coming on and, uh, you know, bringing your expert, you know, advertise or uh, expertise uh, for these new advertised bars and seasonal flavors. Uh, we will see you guys all on the next one. See you guys soon. Bye, everyone. See ya.